boom. As Ant and Deck would say, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> afternoon one, afternoon all. Big up everybody out there upon the lawn, upon the internet, doing what you do. Tuesday afternoon, Father Chalky's Simple Things Audio, doing what we do. Where did I put down that info? I can't even see it. Right, just um, showing you uh, an amp. Big up Mr. Sasho sent me this amp. Picked up the amp from Bristol for him. Uh, another amp. I'll let you know a bit about it. I'm going to show you this amp. I've got the info there. Right, let me show you this amp. Right, okay. This is the Zone Factor 4 channel amp. I want to get a bit of light on this. Let me get a bit of light on this. See if I can get a bit of light on this. Anyway, this is the Zone Factor 4 channel amp. Uh, Z8, as you can see right here. Now, this amp is uh, four channels. Let me see if I can get a light on here. I can't seem to see a light. Let me see if I can get a light. I need to get a light so that I can show you the amp because it's not very bright in inside here. So let me do this and show you the amp itself. Right. Okay, there we go. There's a bit better light. There's a screen here, as you can see. Here are the knobs, which to me are okay, but they're very, very small. But I, I'm, I presume you just turn them to whatever levels you want and you leave them set. As you can see, the front with holes for the ventilation. Top's pretty solidly made, very solidly made. From what I can see. And at the back, like they do in the factories, which we're going to chat about in a second, you have all your info right here. And as you can see, made in China, like a lot of things these days. Right. If we go around to the back, you can see we have four fans. I'll show you the fans. One, two there. One bang in the middle. And one bang on the right hand side. And as you can see here, four sets of uh, inputs. Two I've got taken and two which is empty. And four sets of outputs for your speak -ons. Now, this amp does also do parallel and bridge. So you can bridge the two channels, the four channels into two channels, making it a massive power amplifier at the back here you can see a very solid in-house power cable built in nice and thickly now i want to chat about this amp before i quickly throw a quick signal sig sing signal through it i should say right this amp the zone factor z8 is from what I'm looking at and what I've seen and what I've read does seem to be an exact copy of and I have the models here of the Admark K420 and the Morin K420 which come out of what I call the Gesundheit High factory over there in China they're all made I'm pretty certain I'm, I'm i'm pretty certain they're all made in the same factory and they all have the same internals and pretty much the same externals except you can get different face plates but internally the two the two channels and the four channels are virtually the same so you have different companies have these amps and some companies will sell them on as their own because you can have your faceplate. We got um, OP from the High Life family. I'll give you an example. If, if OP himself here was to order a few of these amps and he could get a deal with the company where they might change the colour to black and put High Life family in the corner or wherever you want that on the amp. 
and then Opie could sell some on and say they are high life family amps. You understand? But they are actually built in China, like a lot of things these days. They're built in China, made in China. And what people have to come to terms with is life goes forward. And for the last how many years in China, they've been building amps and all kind of audio things and are getting better and better. So therefore, all the problems they had from years ago are, are, are now getting better. So a lot of the Chinese amps are a lot better than what they used to be, as are a lot of the other more expensive power amps as well. Right, this amp, as I say, it's, it's seriously, seriously powerful amp. Yeah, it's got, it does four times 2,000 watts at eight ohms. Then it will do four times 3,400 at four ohms. And it is also two ohm stable. So you can get four times 4,000, four and a half thousand watts out of this amp from each channel, basically. Which is mad. Which is mad, <laughs> yeah. And then you've also got the option because you have, like on the uh, QSCs, you have your dip switches here. So you also have the option to bridge the amp, so you can have two by 6,000 at eight ohms, and two by nine and a half thousand at four ohms, which to me is just, you know, numbers is just crazy power. These amps are, you know, some people are saying these amps are built now a, a, a very good for line arrays so you would play your subs you would play your kicks you would play your highs with these amps all in one go for line arrays kind of things or four four box freeway systems you know them kind of thing there so from what i'm seeing the amp is built very well and they've taken care of most of the bits and pieces i you know for me i wish they left it switched off <laughs> when they sent it because I plugged it in and it was on but you know one of them things you know so I'm going to quickly put a signal through this and use the APS EQ so we can hear the signal it, it, we're not pushing it we're not pushing it we're just going to put a signal through it so that I can hear what it sounds like and not you know see see what we think <laughs> As you can see, immediate reaction light. And it's got, it's got a nice sounding, you know, overall. I did a quick thing earlier. It has got a nice sound to it. Right, we can bring in the tops and let you hear the top section. For a power amp that's that powerful, it, it reproduces nice on the high ends. Does reproduce nice on the high end for this amp. Now for a power amp like this, yeah, I like it to be clean at the top for true. Because obviously you know them bass man love the bass line there. Yeah? So we'll throw a little bass line, nothing serious. A lot of things rattling in my house, but reproduction of the tone let me hold that glass that's my door doing that reproduction but the actual reproduction of the box is nice yeah and I am taking time I really do think 
that the stated figures I think may be a bit push, but still I do think that Ant will do the, the work on, on the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a nice Ant. As I said, yep, the amp seems decent. It does seem decent. Haven't given it a real push yet or anything. Sasha, your, your amp, whenever you're ready, you can come check me, come get the amp. Haven't pushed it hard or anything. But I can say from first glances and first tries, it seems pretty decent. And it is well built and well put together. As I said, it's um, yeah built from the Gesundheit factory. That's what I call it up there in China. But a lot of stuff built in China now. So, you know, we have to start get used to them things in the audio world and ting and ting. So that that is it, basically. A quick, quick look at the Z8 zone factor. This amp is actually, I think that the company who have got these are Canadian. So we have different companies from, you know, all over the world doing this now, you know, get, getting amps from certain places and then putting their logos on them and that. Another, that's another thing you have to get used to in sound system world now, you know, not everything is like back in the day when Crown had an amp. They weren't so selling it to no man to go and put his face plate on it and thing like that, you know what I mean? And QSC, but things change, things up. Date. And and that's how it is. This is um, a one U amp, so it saves you space that you've got four channels in one space. So that's that's another good thing. And it's lighter than an old, old school crown amps and everything as well. Although I have to say my QSCs and obviously my Behringers, but my QSCs are lighter than this amp. Even though it's one U, it's still 15K in weight. So don't think that just because it's one U, it's like, oh, it'll only weigh about 7 or 8K. It's still double that weight, 15K in weight, because of what they've got inside. It is from what I can see, and if it is a copy, which I'm pretty sure it is, of the Admark and Morin amps, I've seen the internal builds of these amps already, and they, and they do look decent. The internal builds do look decent. The components themselves, well, you know, maybe they're not as great value to the components as the PowerSoft value components internally, you know. And also, you do have to remember that with um, these amps as well, they don't have the uh, what as much built-in DSP on these as what you would get on a PowerSoft. Now, which does rise the money on the PowerSoft for what it's worth. So there you go. Um, that That's another reason why these are a lot cheaper than the, the PowerSofts is because of the internal DSP built. So therefore, that, that, that that's less that they would have to pay out for. That, so that's another big factor on price as well. But at brand new, I think these ones are about thirteen to fifteen hundred for four channels that will give you four thousand watts at two ohms. Mm, yeah, that's 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 a good price, really and truthfully. That's if the specs are correct. You know, if the specs are correct, the, the amp is is done at a sine wave test of 1k so it's not base figures with that the, the they're high figures you know what i mean but still that's a lot of figures four by two thousand watts at eight ohms four by three thousand four hundred at four ohms and four by four thousand seven hundred and sixty at two ohms so that's a, a a lot a lot of power a lot of number power whether it can replicate it like other amps you just have to wait and see but if you play these amps sensibly if you do play them sensibly and you have headroom in them yeah and just take time with them i'm sure that they will work 
correctly and do the job for the people correctly. There are a few mans out there now who have been buying Admark amps and Morin amps and have had, had great success with them. So, you know, don't be fooled by, oh, people saying, oh, the old school, blah, blah, blah. you have to go forward. We have to go forward in life and we have to go forward with what we do. Yeah, in sound system culture as well, you know, individual choices, but it is what it is. Anyway, that was the, let me show you one last time, the zone factor. If you can see that, that's very blurry there, isn't it, <laughs> on that camera. The zone factor Z8 amplifier, right? So all of those who, if you feel to watch the video back later, have a look. Let me know. I'm, I might do a couple vi more videos on this amp this week. We'll see if time comes through. For now, later, will be greater. Um, Rakesh, I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can put a file together for you and send you a little something. You know what I mean? You know, we spread the love and spread spread the music, yeah? For now, I've got a lot to do today. So, you know, just let me get on and bless up all those who watch. Later will be greater.